Hello, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to a, another video. Uh, this week we're not looking at a Rod's rule, although, uh, however he will be back next week. This week is going to be a bit more of advice for you guys actually, more than an actual on-course tip. Um, we're going to discuss exactly what a gap in session is. A lot of people have asked me what a gap in session entails. Uh, I do various coaching programs and things like that over the winter which do involve gap in sessions. Now a gap in session is going to involve having a 45 minute lesson with myself using uh, flight scope technology uh, with, our, with the iPad set up here to figure out exactly how far you hit each and every club in your bag. It's a very powerful tool if you know exactly how far each club goes uh, because then you're not guessing. It takes away that guessing element. And even if you're playing in different environments where there's colder weather, there's more wind and the ball's not traveling as far, at least you'll be able to know roughly or have a much better guesstimate of what distance each club will go. So just to bring your attention to the whiteboard in front of me here, I've just made up a golfer for, for argument's sake here, and I've just written down a load of sort of random numbers, what you might expect. So this is the typical thing you will see when you come for a, a gap in session with myself. I will look to find out exactly what clubs you've got in the bag. I will write a list of those down the left-hand side, and then you'll have three different divisions here, one being the maximum yardage you can hit that club, two being what a normal swing would be for that, Quite subjective i know but again it all comes down to how you feel a normal swing is and then a soft swing you know all have different interpretations it's all what you feel is your hardest you can hit that club what your normal swing would be on the golf course and what your softer swing would be with that then with 10 different shots with good strikes don't forget we'll make sure we we, we only measure the good strikes we don't want to look at the bad strikes uh we will find an average of how far you hit each and every club so that when you get on the golf course and you find yourself with a number, which, you know, we all have that yardage on a golf course where we oh, I don't quite like that yardage. It's a tough one. It's right in between clubs. That's when you can start to think a little bit more about maybe the ball flight, you know, that ball's going to come off. For example, a seven iron here, uh, a maximum seven iron, I, I, I can hit 185 yards. Although I could actually hit a soft six iron. The difference being here is that the ball flight, obviously, is going to be a lot lower with a six, a little bit higher with a seven. So if you've got a bit of a wind into and you still want to hit that number, you might be more swayed towards the six iron. That's just one scenario you can have. But with this information, you will be able to make better decisions on a golf course, stop the guessing, and obviously get yourself in a better position to score better scores. Um, so, yeah, if you want to get booked in, if this is something you have no idea about, give me a shout in the pro shop. We will get you booked in. It takes about 45 minutes to, a, to an hour to get this done accurately. Uh, and then you will go away with lots of good numbers. And hopefully you can even stick those numbers on the back of your wedge, which some of my um, clients have done in the past. They actually have an M, they would have uh, an N, and they would have an S, and they would stick that right on the back there so that when they're on the golf course, again, they can look at the back of their club. There's no rule which says you can't do that. So that might make life a little bit more organized and helpful for you. Hope that clears up what a gap in session is. Uh, next week, Rod will be back with some winter rules. And on that note, if anyone has any suggestions or any rulings they'd like answered, particularly now that the winter's kicked in, do give us a message and we will uh, address that for you. And I'll get him to star in a special video with your suggestion. Anyway, all the best and see you next week.